Hey Capricorn, welcome to your December 2018. Who's my future partner reading? This is Lauren with Clarity Care. Welcome back everybody. So nice to see you. If you are new to my channel today, I would love for you to subscribe and become a part of my community here on YouTube. I focus on my subscribers first and foremost. So if you're looking to receive messages that pertain to you, then come on board. Also hit the little bell icon. I will be doing YouTube tarot session uh, live sessions. Uh, so you will be notified when I'm going live and you can join the broadcast and ask me a question. I was trying to get that done for you guys, at least my first one under my belt in November, but it's been a little crazy busy. So um, looking forward to getting the ball rolling on that. Just be patient with me. Fork in the road. Let's jump in your reading. Uh, fork in the road and grasshopper spirit. Look at these cards. These are Colette's new um, animal spirit cards. I did an unboxing. If you guys are interested in taking a look at the cards, I also, all the cards I use, by the way, are can be purchased. I have links in my description box below for you tarot enthusiasts. Um, and this fork in the road is also by Colette Baron Reads, Wisdom of the Oracle. Love these cards. They're like one of my favorites. Um, Let's turn these cards over. Let's see what's coming in for you, Capricorn. Let's kind of jump right in. Also want to mention my Cyber Monday sale ends tomorrow. What is today? Today is Sunday. I should have these up on YouTube in time enough. Um, Eye in the Sky as well, 50% off my 50, I'm sorry, my 30 and or 60 tarot reading sessions for those of you that might be interested in booking a reading with me. Oof. Okay, Capricorn. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. Real turn of events here, Capricorn. Wow. Jupiter's really on your side with the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> your overall energy here. I love it. Great timing. Fate, destiny, wheel turning in your favor. Capricorn looks like somebody oof, is coming in that you are not expecting. Um, well, you got the lover's card here. So this could be you're faced with a decision. Uh, maybe you're seeing somebody else and this person waltzes in your life. King of Swords. Who is my future partner? What are they like? Got this King of Swords. So this is more likely a Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra person. Um, or, you know, they have that air quality about them. I mean, gosh, they could even be somebody that could be in the field of law. Maybe they're a judge, a lawyer, a financial advisor, somebody that loves facts and figures and is very methodical in their thinking. They're very clear, clear-cut kind of person. Um extremely intelligent. They think very clearly. Okay. And they take responsibility for their life. It's a king, you know, so he's the master of his suit. So this is somebody definitely mature, could be maybe a little bit older than you. It depends on your age, actually. And um, if you feel like this relates to you at all. Um, but very, very nice. Lots of communication coming in for the month of December. Wow. Um, I think there's going to be instant chemistry here. And you asked me to take a leap of faith. Maybe you're just really not sure. Well, I'm telling you right now, this is the person for you. There's huge success awaiting for you within this relationship with this person. This is the direction you're supposed to go. You know, maybe right now you're like, shit, shit, shit. I'm dating this person, and now I met this person, and I need to decide, okay, which direction am I going to go? Which person is best suited for me? Um, sometimes it's hard, right? Right when you're in the middle of all this. This person is very strong. This person is going to wait for you. I know that sounds kind of crazy. It could even be have some Leo in their chart. There's that trust factor again. This person really trusts 
themselves and you're you're believing okay you got the strength card here how you your first impression of them this is somebody that maybe overcame some difficulty in their own life right they recently took back their power they're standing in their power and they worked through what they needed to they were they were they stayed um, they were courageous over adversity and this really impresses you Capricorn And this is definitely also a kindred spirit here. This is being moved deeply by somebody that you're very, very attracted to. There's definitely sexual chemistry. There's definitely that soulmate, like, I know you kind of feeling. There's a connection here, a union. Being at this point where there's a certain amount of fate and destiny that you two meet. Oof, got goosebumps over here. Without a doubt, it, without a doubt. And this is meant to be. This is beginning a whole new cycle in your life. And check this out Queen of Swords. Feel this coupling energy here. This is somebody that. You're meant to meet. You know, I know this is an air sign, but it doesn't matter. There's that en this couple energy here. And it's kind of like been written in the books. You know, you got the Lady Liberty over here, right? Holding the scrolls. The, the ancient history. This, this is really beautiful. This meant to be union. Doors are opening for a brand new beginning. This is good luck and divine timing connecting with your new soul mate person here. Trust and faith that it is going to work out. If you have to make that decision, you're going you're gonna to do it quickly. There's going to be news coming in, and it could be actually very unexpected also that you have um, going to be able to make that decision and move forward. Some of you, this could be, mm, this could be somebody from your past coming back. Um, I'm not really getting that too much. To be honest with you, I feel like maybe... This could have been a third party situation. Maybe you met this person. Maybe quickly they came in and out of your life like it wouldn't work out and you were dating somebody else. Something wonky like that. Um, but it's not somebody you've had a past relationship with, but maybe you know this person or maybe you briefly dated them or had a brief affair with them and that was it. Um, and this person was just going through it at the time, you know, but through their own courage and adversity and getting over their own difficulties, whatever they were struggling with in their life, they've come out on the other side, you know, Leo air, getting Aquarius over here. Jupiter is on your side and I love it because Jupiter has been on the move. Jupiter is back home in Sagittarius, making life wonderful for everybody, opening doors, all kinds of doors that have been closed for a while. Um, yeah, what, uh, how will this affect me? Yeah, flurry, a flurry of uh, delays being over, uh, moving quickly, making this decision between two people, joining forces in love and being successful. This relationship is definitely on cue for victory, being triumphant. After going through this challenge of trying to maybe make this decision, I'll tell you this much, whatever this delay was or this decision it's, yeah, balls to the wall here in December. I mean, to be quite honestly honest with you, like, 
yeah, it's time. Yeah, by the end of the month, you're going to know exactly where you're going. And honestly, go with your heart here. Take a leap of faith and move forward with this person because this is your soulmate. Um, your obstacle, page of pentacles. Well, that's that makes sense. This is usually like, yeah, like no romantic feelings. Um, this is really kind of more like work energy, hope for the future. But it's, yeah, it's here. There is no growth and potential needed because it's here. You, you, It's already moving forward. So the page of pentacles to me is like, a friend kind of card so it's your obstacle don't worry about it um you are growing ex and expanding in love and you will be making clear plans and um pursuing this relationship um and you're going to get the go-ahead the go-ahead is coming it's it's right here upon you in the month of december now look, Ver, uh, Venus is still technically, she's moving forward, but she's still in shadow um, until December 18th. So give yourself some time. Uh, this is all going to go down in December anyway, but it, it may like come in real quick, like a flash, you know. Um, so don't get yourself all um, in a tizzy, so to speak, you know what I mean? Just, I think you're going to have to go with the flow a little bit here and just ride this horse, you know, to victory with this person, keeping your own wits about you, of course. And it's everything you ever dreamed of. You get the nine of cups is the final outcome card here. This is the ultimate wish card. This is something coming true. <clears throat> this person is your true love. Maybe you weren't sure. Again, going back to being at this fork in the road, however it plays out for you. Yeah. Just follow your heart here and go with this um, third party situation. Okay, whoever this, I would say whoever this guy is right here for those of you that um, definitely, you know, find themselves either involved or meeting a Leo or an air sign. Wow, could it be a Sag or Pisces? There's a lot of that energy here too as well. You're going to know without a doubt. You're gonna, if, the, if this reading relates to you, then you know exactly what you need to do. You know exactly what will be coming down the pike for you. Okay. Um, yeah, feeling... You know, so fulfilled and happy, ready to move forward in your new life with this love of your life, this new person, Lady Luck, twice here for you. I mean, damn Capricorn, it can't get any spicier than this. Talk about Lady Luck. Talk about luck being on your side, timing, divine timing. Taking that leap of faith is going to definitely work in your favor here. This is the direction you're to go. Wow. I love it. Very, very nice. Let's pull you. We probably don't even need to pull your romance angel card, but we will. Let's get a little bit more insight here. Ooh, and see what's going on with this love of your life. Yeah, and the Wheel of Fortune also is about what I'm also hearing. You have to take action. You have to take action in the month of December. If you're faced with a decision, don't, don't delay because you could miss this opportunity. You could be like, oh, I don't know if I really like that person. Yeah, I met them, but I don't know. Well... <laughs> Make sure you choose wisely, Capricorn, because you don't want to miss an opportunity. Maybe some of you just have a little fling or, or an affair with this person. Um, yeah, and could potentially walk away without realizing this could be the love of your life. So that's the indication here. It looks like a great match. 
like you'd be very successful in this within this relationship. Good coupling. Okay, let's see. What is the love message for my Capricorns? Right, we'll just do one more. Okay. Let control get let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Well, I don't know about that. You know, I feel as though that might may uh, play a role as far as maybe opening your heart to the situation. Maybe you want to control the outcome. And, and we do that sometimes, you know. But I think you're really being asked to look within your heart here to make this decision. And quite honestly, I don't think you're going to have any um, a choice here but being faced with, you know, the timing to make the decision of which direction you're going to go. What's on the bottom? Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay. So that could be for some of you. This is at the bottom of the deck. Um, I think I mentioned that earlier. This could be, like I said, somebody maybe you dated briefly or you had a brief affair with um, or this, you know, whole third party situation. Maybe this is coming down to a moral choice on their behalf. Okay. Uh, maybe they've been in another relationship. And you've been kind of waiting by the sidelines, not knowing really where you stand or, and this person does end up choosing you and you're going to hear about it and you're going to be able to finally move forward. Okay. Sharing, um, you know, within your relationship, sharing your lives together. <laughs> I was thinking to bust out in a song, but I figured, ah, don't, don't sing on YouTube. <laughs> so I love this for you, Capricorn. I think it's really amazing. I'm going to, yeah you know, kind of ended here. I hope that you enjoyed the reading. For those of you that might be interested, I am going to be running a, another sale in the month of December for my life purpose readings and or your yearly readings, both pretty intense. Um, I'll put that information here as well. 15, one five, not 50, 15% 15 off my life purpose and or year ahead readings, both pretty intense. Both include astrology, and I go through, yeah, this whole path of where you're going and um, what's going to be the best route for you to take for this 2019 coming up as it personally relates to you and your personal astrology um, and the tarot. <clears throat> I offer life purpose, life career path, and or a twin flame reading, so... All right, Capricorn, have the best holiday that is ever possible for yourself. God bless you. Namaste, and we'll see you in January. Take care. Bye-bye.